Uh, I thought Elliott threw a great threw a great game today. Uh, their offense executed uh, early on in the game. Uh, we didn't, and I told our guys that. Um, in games like this, you're going to have to take advantage of opportunities uh, when you get them in regards to the offensive execution, and uh, they were able to do it, and we didn't. Okay, questions for the student athletes. Jimmy, the first three innings, you seem to have a pretty good start out there. What was working for you to start the game? Start the game, fastball command, slider was working. I couldn't really get a feel for the changeup, and then uh, my two seam had some good sync to it, but. Obviously, in the fourth inning, leadoff walk, that'll kill you. I think every leadoff walk I've had this year, they've scored. So it's really got to bear down and figure it out. And I didn't in the fourth inning, and then obviously in the sixth inning as well. When you're facing a team like Oklahoma State that you know is dominant at the plate, what's kind of your mindset going into that? Really, you got to pound the zone. You can't pitch around. I mean, some guys you have to, but you just got to pound the zone. You got to trust your pitches, trust everything that you have, and when that doesn't happen, you know, they hit the ball. I left to pitch up to Simpson. He's a great hitter, and when my two seam doesn't have sync to it, it doesn't matter where it is, they can crush it. Richard, obviously you had faced Jensen recently. What stands out to you about him? You know, he's a veteran pitcher. He did a really good job of, of mixing his stuff, and he had command of all of his pitches tonight, and, and when you attack the bottom of the zone with a an arsenal of pitches, it's really hard to do stuff against it, and you got to tip your hat to what he did, but also at the same time, there's a lot of um, you know, miscues on our end offensively that, that could have resulted in more, but he did a really good job, and you got to tip your hat to a veteran pitcher. Richie, you guys have been a, a resilient team all year. I mean, uh, feel like you guys will come out with the right attitude tomorrow? Oh, no doubt. I mean, we get to play baseball tomorrow. We get to play TCU, a, a near-town rival, one of our our funnest foes to play against, and we're here in Bricktown playing ball, and so new opportunity, new day tomorrow, and we'll go one game at a time and looking forward to it. Okay, guys, thank you. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, we'll let you go back and uh, start your rest period. You thank you. Another day. Yes, I'm here. Appreciate y'all doing it. Thank you. This is the finals. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. Or if you want to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Questions for the coach. With knowing that you might have a rematch with Oklahoma State coming up, what are some of the main things you want the guys to work on? Winning tomorrow. Okay. Steve, uh, I, so I don't know if there's more, but um, Jensen Elliott, obviously, you know, he's very tough. What makes him so tough? How many walks did he have tonight? One. one. Yeah. He had one. There you go. He throws all of his pitches for strikes. Um, he really does just give you a chance to breathe. When he's doing that, you got to be aggressive early, and then you got to make sure he's laying, putting a good. You got to get a good pitch to hit and lay a good swing on something, and he just doesn't give you a whole. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He just does, and that's what makes him really tough. And you notice he doesn't strike a ton of guys out, but at the same time, he just doesn't really put anything down the middle of the plate uh, that gives you an opportunity to hit anything hard. He, he does a really good job. It seems like everything is moving, and that for a hitter, it, that's the thing. It's not some velocity. It's, it's just the amount of movement on the ball uh, allows. I mean, just miscues off the bat. You know, you think it's going to be where you're, you're starting your swing, and it's just not there. And that's what he does really well. Career, career high night for uh, Jimmy in terms of strikeouts. Uh, first three innings, he, he got out of trouble in the second. Do you like what you saw out of him? I, mean... I just think he ran out of gas. Um, you know, I think every one of his walks scored or every one of our walks scored this evening. Um, you know, and, and that just kind of just kind of shows he'd show up first uh, four pitch walk early and then, you know, that guy would end up scoring uh, and then he'd come back and kind of rebound. And, you know, unfortunately, you just can't against an offense like this. You can't take a hitter off or two. And it's not like he's trying to do that. But, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, you go four pitch walk and then home run, four pitch walk, double, you know, and those are the things that end up hurting you when you play an offense like this. Does it feel like their offense can kind of be relentless as far as the power goes up and down the lineup? Well, they swing hard. I mean, they, they swing absolutely even with 12, 15, they have 15 strikeouts. So they're, they're going to swing, and they're going to swing hard. And if they miss, they don't really care. You know, and that's, that's, that's understood. I completely get it. You know, and so that's the thing. But they're, they might strike out 20 times, but they might hit eight home runs while they're doing it. You know, and that's the thing. That's, that's what you have to understand is you have to make really good.
our offense. You know, I'm sure they're going to go Williamson. Uh, well, we don't know yet, but I'm sure they will. Um, he's he's a pretty tough left-handed pitcher, big, tall kid. So we got to find a way to make it work. Um, but I, I really like some of the swings our guys took tonight. Um, you know, they were just better than us tonight. Pretty simple. Obviously, they're dealing with the same thing, but waiting around all day, playing this late, how difficult is that for a team? I don't make excuses like that. Sorry, Jerry. I, I, everybody has to deal with it. We know it coming into it. Is it easy? No. Is it an excuse? Absolutely not. I thought he got jammed. I thought he got jammed. Trust me, when he hits it, you know. But I just, I just thought he got jammed as soon as he hit it. Same thing with Richie's. I thought he hit it well, but there was something odd about the sound that it just didn't sound right. And even he said he goes, "It sounded where I go." Yeah, you're right. So.